Welcome to a short demo of FSS.cloud. Let's start by logging into the FSS control pane. You can do so using your organization's Google login or pre-created login credentials. Once you log in, the control pane presents you with all the software product definitions that you have created. These are called stacks. Each stack is a Git repository. You can register a new stack by providing the Git repository details and a set of read credentials. Let's now take a look at the stack definition for the demo stack. A stack is a version control technical blueprint of your product. Each resource required is defined by JSON files placed in type specific directories. The demo stack defines an S3 bucket, a couple of load balancers, a Mongo database, and a few applications. Each resource is defined using a simple JSON schema called the FSS Stack Definition Language or FSDL for short. You can use FSDL to define the characteristics of a resource. An application definition, for example, specifies its size, deployment strategy, auto scaling configurations, environment variables, etc. The build selection strategy lets you connect the FSS continuous delivery to your continuous integration pipeline. The application definition also includes credential requests, which lets the application authenticate with resources like databases, queues, or cloud specific resources like S3. Application specific ingress rules lets you route external requests to your application. The stack also defines alerts and dashboards required to monitor your product. In short, the stack repository is a holistic view of the complete product. Let's now take a look at creating a cluster using a stack definition. You can create any number of clusters to suit your workflows. FESIS supports creating AWS, Azure and local development clusters. To create a cluster, you select a cloud provider, region, time zone and a set of cloud provider credentials with sufficient permissions. You can also configure a continuous delivery workflow for the cluster. Any common environment variables and secrets are also provided at cluster creation time. Here we have an AWS cluster named Awesome QA created using the demo stack. Once a cluster is created, you can head over to the releases page to trigger a release. A release creates, destroys or updates resources to match your stack definition. Let's take a look at the initial release. It summarizes the applications deployed and provides the complete change log as well. This being the first release, FSS has provisioned a VPC with all the required networking components and a Kubernetes cluster. The resources defined in the stack like the ingress controller, Mongo database, S3 bucket and the applications are created as well. Scheduled releases push any pending changes to your cluster preventing any form of infrastructure drift. Releases may be triggered manually which may be a full release that ensures that all the resources are in sync with the stack definitions or a targeted hotfix release to only affect the selected resource. Now we can see the two applications in action. The to-do app saves to-do items into the Mongo database. The uploader app saves the uploaded images to S3. Both of the apps are SSL protected with an auto provision certificate. Let us now take a quick tour of the other control plane features. The cluster overview page summarizes the cluster. Users can obtain temporary credentials to access the Kubernetes cluster as well. The permissions for the credentials are controlled by the user's roles. The control plane comes with an embedded Grafana instance. Built-in dashboards like the Falco security dashboard, the ingress dashboard as well as the ones defined in the stack are accessible here. The alerts page lists all the alert definitions as well as any active alerts. You can silence an alert or take appropriate action to resolve the violation. Every database provision with facets undergo regular backups. These backups may be listed from the facets control plane and can be used later to provision a new database. The resource details page lists down details of the deployment like common read-only passwords, NAT IP addresses, etc. Access to these are controlled by the roles assigned to the control plane user. Control plane lets you manage users, teams, artifactories, and OAuth integrations. 
You can choose a log collection solution that suits you by selecting a suitable extension to use with your stack. All extensions are defined in the stack.json file in the stack repository. We have enabled the NFS log collection extension for the demo stack. The logs are now collected into an NFS volume. You can access the logs from a web console. That's been Fessis.cloud in action. Thank you.